Hello and welcome to our video summary to accompany our second MaxSurf webinar. Our topic this month is modelling techniques and the first stage of modelling is to plan the surface layout on your design. Suppose we wish to model this design that we have on screen in MaxSurf. The first thing we should do when planning our surface layout is to take a close look at the design and identify different discontinuities, features and constraints. In this design we can see that we have an area of the design forward where we want to have a bow cone. So in this area we want to constrain the design so that we get a nice radius of curvature around the bow cone and that means using an herb surface to get a true arc of a circle in that region. We can also see that in the top sides we have a flat area uh, going up to the bulwark and so we're going to have a separate surface to model that flat area. Moving further aft we can see that we have a couple of steps in the shear line and to model those steps or discontinuities we're going to use surface trimming to trim off uh, the surface. The surface will remain fair but we'll trim out the discontinuous shear line from it. In the aft end of the transom we can see that there is a bend in the transom so we've got a crease across the transom. That means we're going to have two surfaces there for the upper and lower parts of the transom and consequently we're going to have a surface join that we want to join up to a couple of hull surfaces to match with them. Looking at the hull we can see that there are a couple of chines running forward from the transom and so we're going to have a chine surface to uh, pick up those two uh, hard points that are running forward. We can blend them out to be fair transversely uh, further forward but in the aft end they're going to uh, form hard points. And then looking down at the bottom we can see that uh, we have a box keel and so that box keel is going to be trimmed off to the hull so we're going to use surface trimming to do that and we're going to make that box keel up out of a number of surfaces so we'll use one for the side of the box keel, another surface for the bottom, another surface for the forward face of the box keel and another surface for the aft face of the box keel. Those surfaces will all be bonded together so that the uh, hull is watertight. And finally looking forward we can also see the bow thruster area here and consequently we're going to use a cylindrical surface or a series of surfaces to make a cylinder and we're going to use surface trimming to trim that surface off to the hull to form the bow thruster cavity. Those are the kinds of checks that you should make when you're first planning your layout, identifying discontinuities, identifying key curves and identifying constraints and use them to guide you in your surface layout.